And everyone's got to go back to work. Number two, everyone's got to go back to work in terms of on the 8th, 8th of July, yeah. players have to return. What do you, talk to, what do you, in KG's brain, yeah, what do you think happens when Mason Greenman and Jane Sancho, because let's say, let's assume by, what is it, 28th today, let's assume by the 8th of July, they haven't uh, got new clubs. What do you think happens at 9am on the 8th of July? Someone, you, they pull up to, they pull up to Carrington, you go get um, you got. I don't know who the ch- head reporter is. That's going to be outside the ground, looking at the cars um, going in. But that's a good day to be there because there's two players with two different kind of situations, at, um, pulling up at Old Trafford. And there's and it's so funny because you one, think they pull up? Do you think they come to Karen on that day? They must. You must. It's they your might. job. They're not, they're not must. I mean, they could work out something that they don't come back. You know, it's very easy, isn't it? You know, I don't know because they again, pick up the pick up. Oh. One of their agents picks up the phone, talks to someone at United, going, "Hey, we're still working out, you know, these uh, transfer things, whatever." They're like, "Cool." But no, because the bad thing is, remember they... Ronaldo didn't come back. I mean, obviously it was a different issue, but it was just like they were waiting on the cars, and they were like, "Well, he didn't come back." And then they picked up. They then journalists went, "Oh no, we knew he wasn't going to come back." This, that, and the other. You know, I think a lot they of people are focused. Think, but a then lot Ronaldo, people are focused on that day. Ronaldo was trying to like move. That's the that was so they. So they don't have to they don't have to come <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, they they agree, be there. If they agree with Manchester United, do I need to be here on the eighth? And they go, no. And then again, maybe some you just sign a couple of things here and there just to make sure all bases are covered. Then you can keep, you know, doing your own thing away. You know, I'd be more surprised well, if both of them showed going. up. I think coming back. Going. I think I think Mason Greenwood will not be back in the space because there's that that teams that want him. There's teams that want him, so his situation seems stronger than Jaden's situation. You can't, you can't have a situation where you have another player who's you're waiting for a move. Let's say you're waiting for the eighth. Eighth doesn't materialize. You're waiting for what 15, 16. After before you know it, we're on tour, and then you've just killed. Like we can't He's afford to come on tour. leave him on, I, on tour. No, I'm with you, but then if there's no club that steps out and puts a significant offer in, he'll have to be on tour. Is what I'm saying. We won't have to. He doesn't have to what be on tour. What are you going to do? You are going to leave him Train... on, the, on ice again? They're not going to. No, bro. They're that, not going to integrate back into the squad. That situation will happen last time. I'm saying that can even be avoided this time round because if Jane, if Jane Sancho went to his agent, yeah, well, imagine, imagine you, you, you go. I don't want to go back to United. Eric's staying there. I'm not going to apologize. Yeah, whether I'm done. right or wrong, it's not going to happen. And then he's go to your agents. Go look. I know they're saying that's when people are reporting back. Just double check. I'm not reporting back on that day. And then if you're not, I go, yeah, you are. You go, well, no, I'm not. And then you go, okay, boom. Like Man, Man United aren't going to no. put themselves in that position again. Well, remember, he's got mates at Carrington. Do you think they want to see him show up again and then be banished out to the under 18s and do all that kind of no stuff chance. again? It's much that's, easier it's to come to an agreement. It's, worth. it's much yes. easier to come to an agreement going, Jaden, you can train by yourself wherever you want to go, whatever. We know the, the stuff's still going on about None of them the are transfer back, and all that kind of stuff. None of them are coming they're, back. They're definitely no not going on tour. You've seen how closely no how closely tight that tour group is. No way. When Eric's still here, trying to do a new thing with Rude and the fit. <laughs> no, <laughs> <gonna> imp- impossible. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> and even to go to this, Carrington, imagine... That, imagine this, we shouldn't just be... like We can't officially say it's no way. That's 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 what that's the point that I'm making. You can't. While it, it makes sense to like say, look, this is not what he wants. This is not this is not the best um, scenario. But then Man United have had a lot of problems getting rid of players, and I get maybe this is a new overhaul and everything's changing. But there's a little part of me. The sneak. This is where maybe I'm playing devil's advocate in this moment and saying, hey guys, there's a potential yeah. that because his contract is because he's so expensive. And we're struggling to get interest from other clubs that will take on the deal. They just have, don't have the money. There's a thing where he might have to end. He could end up at, at Man United again. There, there has to be because look at this. Where's that news come from? And that news is really it's more for him than for Greenwood. No one actually believes Greenwood's really going to come back because we're just waiting to see what team's going to show us the Greenwood's, money. Greenwood, Greenwood's not coming up. He's got loads of suitors. He's got Sancho's, loads. Got, Sancho's got suitors, but the same like Greenwood, it's the financials. They're both 40 million, right? Let's be yeah. honest. They both got relatively high wages and there's quite a bit to thrash out in terms of the financials. And if you look at it from a United perspective, we've got to get these financials right because we can't just be having some of these clubs saying, sorry, we're a bit broke. Can we just do a loan and then see how it goes? No. We've just done that with both of these two players. 
to reignite their careers in different respective ways. Greenman for very different circumstances, out of this country, out of mind, out of sight. He's gone and resurrected his career. And Sancho for different reasons, because we all saw very publicly what happened there and he can't come back, especially right. now the vote of confidence has been given to Eric. Not going to happen. So Man United, they have to, they must, and they will. They will. I believe they will um, find a solution. But in terms of in terms of Sancho coming back into the fold, think about it for Sancho. The media scrutiny and all of the hype that comes with him just even going back through the gates isn't worth it. You can't re- you can't even let him back into the group of the first team because that's with the direct manager that this he's not going to have said sorry. It's still Eric's definitely not going to have changed on that. Like, oh, I've signed a new thing of Ineos. I'm a head coach now. I've got Ruva. I'll oh, just come in. Never going to happen. Not going to happen. So, and then having him coming in and then, I don't know, training how he was, I think maybe that's the maximum that could happen. The maximum. You just go back, you're training with the under 23s until you, you know, keeps up. That's the maximum. Greenwood, I, I agree. I, I, I don't think he'll come for it. I don't, I, I don't think, think it'll happen. But if it what, just to KG's point of like, you just never know. I'm saying the maximum out of all of this that could happen, pure max, which I don't believe is going to happen, but pure max is that Sancho comes back and has to just go back to what he was doing before, which was away from everyone, training alone, under 23s vibes. But I, I agree. For all of that and the media hype that's going to come with that, oh, he's back, pitches, this, that, and the other, it's easy just to say, listen, go train in America or Dubai. These men do it all the time, bro. They can keep themselves ticking till they get a cup. It's not yeah. hard. They're, they're elite athletes, and- bro. They're out there training with the parachute with no... Uh, uh, Lukaku, remember when I say... When Lukaku went back to his old... What? Yeah, they go back to... Uh, it's coming in Belgium. It's it's Andalus. Andalus. Do you remember, yeah, last, yeah. You remember last yeah. year? Was like, was it, um, was it Eric Bailly? Remember, remember there was like a group of players last year that I didn't even think came back to training, but they were like still under contract to Man United. Like, again, yeah. Eric Bailly was one of them. Or they just trained, don't go on bro. the tour. Ever and like, remember last year when Maguire initially wasn't in the toy, he was going to fly out later. And your immediate thing was, Well, that means he's going. I mean, that means, yeah, that means yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it'd be the same they, thing with they, these guys, they're they, players, they're players, they tick over all the time, bro. And it won't like, just they, be, it won't just be, it won't just be them. It might be, there might be a couple of more players that maybe aren't as you know controversial as, um, as uh, even people like say, like, a I don't know, those people like Hannibal or even like Donnie, there might be those players that are just like. Uh, no, don't come back because you'll be gone in a week's time anyway. There's no point integrating you back in to our preseason plans because you're near enough gone, or you, you're just not part of the plans anyway. So, I think that might be the case with uh, with with Sancho and with, even you know, Casemiro has to pull up on the eighth as well. He'll pull up though. He'll definitely pull up. That one's not as much of a sure thing, is it? But it's not like he's not the happiest. Of guys, is he? Well, put it put it this way. Put it this oh, way. Oh, no, he's not happy. Cas- Casemiro <laughs> pulling up to Carrington. Casemiro pulling up to Carrington on the eighth is going to get a fraction of the coverage that either Jane Sancho or Mason Greenwood driving in on the eighth would yeah. get. You know what I mean? No, 